It's skip day? Nobody told me. She's unpopular and unattractive. Tony? Who is this? It's Meg. Where is everyone? Well, this can't be Meg. She's with us here at the pier. Sorry about that, everyone. Now let's get back to the fair and enjoy our March 23rd. The usual, please. Here you are, ladies seven on the left and men's 11 on the right. I just need a license. Yes! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, I find even more sand on my body from a beach toilet I used a week ago. Peter, Lois, it pains me above the waist to tell you that Meg is dead. How did this happen? She got in a car wreck and was burned beyond recognition, and I leveled up on Fortnite this weekend, but your little angel is one stamp away from a free sub, which only adds to this horrific tragedy. What? I'm not dead. She was burned beyond recognition, but identified by her driver's license. And no one cares. Well, the last thing I thought I'd have to do is stand before you on such a sad occasion. I was an honest man, a kind man, a man who knew how... Oh, my stars. Mwah. If there's anything we can do to help you during your time of need. Stamps. Go in that box. I do too, Bon. Oh, did I say that out loud? No, but at this point I know what you're thinking. <laughs> there, there, Lois. Stop your crying. Stop it. Please stop. Okay, I feel all of you looking at me, so here goes. Meg, wherever you are. I hope that you're with Bubba. We're going to save a lot of money on toilet paper. Ever see her wipe? Silence as we hear the guy down the street scream at his barking dog. <laughs> Damn it, Rufus! Just bring him back when you're done. No rush. Thanks. My name's not important. What's yours? Um, I'll bring my hemorrhoid donut to sit on. <laughs> Great joke, Natalie Hallway. Yes. It is a joke. When Meg was little, we used to love to make Christmas cookies together. Some of your cookies for our wedding? Get out of here! This is a family bakery! I'm a Christian! Chris, be my selfie! I want to make Meg's death about me. Chris, here are the keys to the driver's ed car to use anytime you want. <laughs> wow, cool! Wow, Natalie Hallway. How did you get so good at bowling? Oh, I used to play a lot back in co- Rhea. I got an extra orange at lunch. You want it? Yeah! Life is pretty sweet. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I missed Mom. I missed you. Let's talk about it in the van. Ah! Chris, what are you doing? You're good to go. All right. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? Damn it, Chris. I don't care that you're popular now. Let me out of here! One, to mourn the loss of Meg Griffin, and two, to find the owner of this X-Men water bottle someone left in Woodshop. Artist who specializes in sensitive music to do finger stuff to, Mr. John Mayer! I'm gonna need three seats for my elbow supporters. Looks like you really are dead this time. They say your life flashes before your eyes when you die. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. Oh, come on! I was in the Kingsman fight. If I whap my forehead against the cement floor enough times, I think I can create a blood loose. Taking out a full page ad in the yearbook that will feature a dedication page to Mick. Oh my God, oh my God, everyone, he's proposing! Right here! Those are dark soled shoes. She's wearing dark soled shoes on the gym floor. Sneakers only in the gym, guys. All right, everyone throw confetti and ruin the janitor's weekend. Chris would never do that. Chris? It's true, Mom. I am here. I'm right here. Anyway, Meg, wherever you are, I'm sorry. Yeah, Meg, I'm just really glad this whole ordeal is over. Glad this whole ordeal is what? Over. <laughs> Women fake a lot of things. You fake your death, I fake orgasms and being impressed by my husband's accomplishments at work. Chris, part of being a man is faking things, like orgasms or pretending to like your wife's egg salad. Oh, Peter. Oh, Lois. Oh, other raccoon. 
can't believe I forgot to wear pants. Meg, give him your pants. Mom? Meg, it's a big day for your brother. Fine. Sirius XM, a hundred and something. You're probably in a rental car. Okay. God. Good. Good. Movement. Morning. Morning. Alexa, Alexa off. off. <sighs> and that's how you do an announcement. Not like that tub of lard griffin. <laughs> that kid was mucho gordo. I think you mean muy gordo. That's enough, lawnmower guy. Alexa, stop playing sad music. I don't think this thing is working at all. This part always speaks to me. I can't stand to hear Italians talk, but... Ryan, I'd love to stay and talk, but Bugs Bunny is about to make this tenor hold a note for far longer than anyone should. Shadow Hunters. What's Shadow Hunters? I don't know. Let's look it up. Guys, please. People worked really hard on this. That fat is going to win him biggest boy at the state fair. Peter, this is very serious. So is biggest boy. Well, he's a big, big boy. He's a biggest boy. He's a big, big boy. If there's nothing else... There's still the agenda item of you fat-shaming Chris Griffin. I think we can table that. Sure, more than once I've caught him eating Crisco with a spoon, but I can't watch everything he eats. That's all I'd be doing. <laughs> Principal Shepard needs to be held accountable for fat shaming my son. No matter how fat or shameful he may be. Alexa, play the sad song from Stripes. Uh, excuse me, I, I saw a commercial in which a dog had a very shiny coat. Oh my gosh, wow, this is so exciting. Excuse me? It's really you. We recognize you from your book. Flunky the Dumb White Dog by Griffin Stewart? You know, when you said Miles Teller, I was like, eh. But then once you get here, you realize you can sit anywhere. Lois, can I talk to you one step over this way, yet magically out of earshot from him? All right, Peter. He can live with us until he gets back on his feet. You made a full and convincing case. Yay! Also, would it make any sense to put all the beds in one room and make one room a trampoline room? The Wi-Fi is Joe Swanson Guest. Chris, there's someone here who's got something to say to you. So if you took offense to anything I said, I certainly regret that you did that. At this point, I consider the matter closed. Atta boy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, he's a good boy. Oh, oh he is. <laughs> well, if someone had returned my mower when they said they were going to, I would have done it weeks ago. Well, I guess I know where you got all that money. You wrote a whole children's book series about me. On hands and knees, I begged him. He said he had an early appointment. Witch! Witch! Press her between stones! Uh, we think you would be more comfortable eating in the special breakfast unit. Why can't I just eat with my family? We're trying to get you ready to eat with your family. Someone drew a penis on my car. Peter, I'm looking at you. Couldn't have been me. Okay, who do I make this out to? Actually, could you use a Sharpie? No, my, my mom says I can't use Sharpies. They're permanent. Sorry I'm late. I was just... Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, en français, Monsieur Griffin. God. Ah! Ah! That's it! I want you out of our house! I'll get out of your hair if you'll all just help me get my things out of the basement. He put us in detention in our own house? How long is Principal Shepard going to keep us in detention down here? Oh, you got a big date? How are we going to get out? All right, we're playing. No, 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 Meg, Meg, Meg! All right, who's next? You claim that you are not dumb. If that is true, please tell me the difference between Michael Cera and Jesse Eisenberg. Pete Williams treat? was born. Where, where, where? Where? Where's the treat? Thank you. I will now read the entry for Christopher Walken. Walk? Go for a walk? Take this time to learn more about each other. Sorry, Lois, we can't. We got a breakfast club dance for the Fox promo. We've never sat down and talked like this. Principal Shepard is the best principal ever. I'm totally re-energized. Beatrice Fuller. She was a snack. We have a verdict, Your Honor. Please proceed. The dog is an idiot. The baby wins. Puff Darf! Who are you kidding, Brian? You're a dog. I'm gonna walk out that door, come back in, and you'll just be excited to see me. Fat ankles. Oh, right. My name is Peter Griffin, and I get to the in-conclusion part of my speech faster than most people. I love you, baby! Sorry, Lois, I needed you out of the way so I could kiss this lady. It's good to be back. Wait, who drew this dong on my desk? Not me. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, your desk got donged. Yeah, I did it. It was me.
Oh, thanks, but I no longer write the flunky books. No, not that book. This one. Ryan!